In this scenario, we'll show you one way in which you could automate accounts payable process using Dynamics 365 Business Central. To do this, we'll show you how we initiate a, the process from an incoming document. So this is where a vendor would send me a PDF or a JPEG file. Uh, we'll scan the document, uh, so I have an electronic format, uh, and then we'll go ahead and correct and approve and then we'll receive this from the OCR service. So that's the Optical Character Recognition Service. So uh, with that, let's go ahead and begin. So we're going to initiate this from an incoming document. So again, imagine uh, I get a, a document over to me from my vendor. It's either in a PDF or a JPEG format. And uh, to help streamline that data entry, I'll go ahead and select on my incoming documents. I've saved that file somewhere, either on a share on our Microsoft Teams site, SharePoint site, or even my local uh, PC. So I'll go ahead and create this from the file. I'll browse out to where we uh, um, <clears throat> keep those documents. And then you'll notice by doing so, I now have this purchase invoice that came to me from the vendor in a PDF. Next, what I'll do is go ahead and send that over to the OCR service. So I'll go on send, and now you'll see the status has gone from uh, blank to released. And it's being sent over to that status or that uh, service for approval. So imagine then the next uh, step is somebody in the organization who's responsible for approving these purchase invoices uh, before they get processed. So here I am, and I haven't gotten a notification just yet. I know it's about, if I hit refresh, to populate here with a one, but I click on that. And this will launch me into the uh, the service. Again, it's hosted by uh, Kofax. And you'll notice here that this particular document is pending manual verification. So there's some items that came over from the vendor that uh, may be incomplete, or we're not quite sure yet what needs to be fixed. So I'll select on the start. And I can either navigate on the left side of the document by clicking in it to uh, enter in the correct data. So for example, on the date, uh, and then any other corrections that need to be made uh, will be brought to my attention here on the, on the right-hand side. Once I'm done, I can just click OK. And then you'll notice the status of this document uh, has been export, the document is, is exporting back into Dynamics 365 Business Central to create that purchase invoice. So let's go ahead and receive it. I'm back in that uh, purchase invoice, and you'll see here, I'll go ahead and receive it. And now notice a few things have changed. I've got, instead of released, I have it's been created. I have a status of success, which is great. And now it also took that soft copy, that PDF, and created a, uh, a document, a purchase invoice, into Business Central. When I click on it, you can see here, right, I've got now a purchase invoice uh, with the line items. And from here, I can go ahead and perform the standard tasks of posting it and then paying it. So what we just saw, the process of automating accounts payable, uh, really the benefits to an organization, you can see where we could limit errors and ensure that the data accuracy by leveraging this service, and then also helps us to improve the control of the data in our business.